Welcome back. What three baits should you be using in the month of June? That's what we're going to talk about right now. So June is one of the better times of the month to catch fish. First, fish are going to start moving offshore. They're looking for that little difference of water temperature. So deeper water is always good. A drop shot, a deep diving crankbait. Those are going to be successful baits for this whole month. They're not on my list today, but they're very good baits to use. June is a month that if you have a lot of ledges that you want to fish aggressively. It's not that these fish are not, or you're not gonna find fish on the shore or in shallow water, but if there isn't any cover, they will be moving off, off the shoreline. So deeper areas are gonna hold fish. So also your docks or lily pads. Anything they, they can get a little bit of a break from or a little bit of a water dif uh, temperature difference is going to be very highly successful spots for you to catch giant bass. When you're out there, look for brush piles or Christmas trees or things that people have put in the water that will add structure. That's going to hold bait and it'll also hold giant, it'll hold big fish. It'll hold all the bass and pike, everything you want. If you are fishing shallow water, do it early in the morning or late in the afternoon. Right now, fish are going to, bass are going to be looking for dragonflies and bugs and all those things are going to be food for them right now. They're also looking at forage fish too. Now that the water is starting to get a little bit warmer and throughout the country, they will aggressively attack baits that are on the, on the move. You can call call those fish to you with rattles or any type of noise because you have to remember noise travels further in warmer water so they can hear it they're going to find out what it is and if it has the right action they'll bite it this is a month that you want to kind of fish deeper in the middle of the country you want to be a little bit offshore and my first bait is one that i'm very proud of it isn't that i own the company but I use it nonstop. And I think if you're out there and you want a Texas or Carolina or shaky head, a giant worm, well, this isn't a giant one, this is an eight inch DOA worm. This is going to be extremely successful for you. You're getting it to the bottom, you're bouncing it off the bottom. They're gonna see it, feel it, and worm. Uh, the, the thing about a worm that makes it so productive during the year is that bass eat them if they're small and if they're big. Now you might have to wade through some small fish to catch the big ones, but big giant bass will eat a big worm. So my first bait I think you should be using is some sort of eight, 10 inch, not stick worm, but just worm. And that one is VOA, it's my favorite. My second bait, as I open up the box and you're hearing it, is a box that I have completely full of one bait. Now, this is not a giant swim bait, but my second bait I think you should be using is a big swim bait. This is the time of year when the shad are a little bit bigger. They've gotten a little healthier. The bluegill are a little bit bigger. And having something that you can fish at either the top of the water column, the middle of the water column, or let it sink all the way to the bottom is what you want. When you find the fish and what they're eating at that water depth and then you know what you need to do you need to stick to it but i really really appreciate right now in june and more even july is a giant swim bait and while these aren't giant swim baits they are some of the best and these are little buka baby gill shad or i don't even know maybe this is the bluegill one i don't know i like this bait for many reasons it isn't giant it's three or four inches i like this bait because i can fish it in in every water column. If I think that the fish are feeding on top, I can keep my rod tip high and just fish that. It has a great action. This is one of the best baits I've ever used, to be honest. The Buka Baby Bullgill is as good as it gets for swimming action and for catching fish. And the other thing about them is you don't have to go out and change the hooks because a lot of times you can get in less inexpensive baits that do this, but they have smaller hooks. And then you gotta buy hooks, and then you gotta replace the hooks. And quite honestly, when I get a bat, uh, bait, I wanna be able to use it right away. The difference in these ones is one has a bigger head than this one, and really any of these baits will work. These are absolutely fantastic baits year round. 
Uh, so my number two bait for you this month in June is a big swim bait. So if you watched this far, you should have hit the subscribe button by now. But do me a favor, like and subscribe it. And thanks for joining the team. My third bait. Now, I'm going to show you something that a majority of the bass fishing industry probably doesn't know much about. If you're a saltwater fisherman, you know this man and the and his spoons. So my third bait is a spoon. I'm gonna give this man props because he's been a friend of mine for about 25 or 30 years, set me up in a spot that I caught more peacock bass and bonefish and that I've ever caught in my life. And his spoons are absolutely fantastic. But again, the third one is a spoon. Why do I want a spoon? You can yo-yo it, it'll cast a good distance, you can just reel it in just on a reel. But also it has that flash, it'll get down to the bottom and you can yo-yo it, just let it hit the bottom and just give it a jerk, almost like a lipless crankbait. So it makes that flutter and then it falls down properly. These are from Mike Hakala and he has a company called Aqua Dream Spoons. Mike has been making baits or spoons for as long as I've been fishing saltwater. Now these are saltwater ones and they're spoons with a red hook, but he has put different fish on them or things. So this one is a crab. That's supposed to be a crab. And then he has other ones that are for freshwater like this one, which is a frog. Now the thing about these is that why I like these ones so much is first they work. They work in all circumstances. Usually you think of a spoon and you want something that's real big, that's probably just one color. In this case, this is a double, double one that has both sides and that you can cast a good diff distance and yo-yo it in or just let it fall properly and it'll do this as it falls. The spoon right now is a great bait to use. Um, like I said, Hakala Aqua Dream Spoons makes these ones and they are the premier ones for people who love saltwater fishing, but they also work great for freshwater anglers too. Generally, I think you should have a little bit bigger ones than these ones, but for me, I like the I like to fish light tackle. So this works perfect for the circumstances that I fish in. Make that long cast, yo-yo it back and forth, or just reel it in, and I get lots of bites. This is one of the things that I don't think a lot of anglers use. You can really set yourself to the next level by being a great spoon fisherman because it offers flash and everything else that the fish are looking for. So again, my third one is the spoon and you can use whatever one you want. I just happen to have a whole big box of Aqua Dream spoons from my Kakla. June is a great month to catch big bass. Uh, we've kind of gone through most of the phases and these are some people are in post-spawn, but a majority of these fish are really just seeking to eat as much as possible. Again, they're gonna go after fit, after baits. You can cast them a distance and call them into the bait if you have that noise or that rattle that they're attracted to. Get out there and go fishing. This is a really, really a great month. Other than the heat, but stay hydrated too. Wear some sunscreen also. I don't think people realize how important it is sunscreen and hydration is this time of year because it gets hot especially down here. But hopefully those three baits will help you catch more fish. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you take a kid fishing. Comment below and tell me what three baits you're gonna use. Get your fish on. I'll see y'all soon. Cheers.